Hey guys, in this video we wanted to show you some aseptic techniques you can use in tissue culture. First off, we're going to start by cleaning the working area with 70% isopropyl alcohol or 70% ethanol. If you don't have access to a laminar airflow hood, you can still put on an air filter and that still works pretty well. We turn on ours about 30 minutes ahead of time. After cleaning your work area, we're going to be using a glass bead sterilizer. Normally we'd be using a Bunsen burner, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this. Place your forceps in the bead sterilizer at above 250 degrees Celsius. So today we're going to be working with Sterogyne ribbons, a popular plant in the aquarium hobbies. Always remember to wear a mask. Use 70% isopropyl alcohol or 70% ethanol to clean your hands. You can always wear gloves when using a glass bead sterilizer, but I would not recommend wearing gloves if you're going to use a Bunsen burner to sterilize. If you have access to a laminar flow hood, you can let the forceps cool down naturally. Uh, however, for this video, we don't have access, um, so we're going to just use the media to cool it down a little faster. Using the sterilized forceps, you can now begin splitting the plants. Remember, you only need one plant to make a new culture. In between splitting the plants, always place your forceps back into the bead sterilizer for 10 to 15 seconds each time. We will be splitting enough plants for the next five containers. This is totally up to you depending on how big your plant is and how many cultures you would like to propagate. You can always use a sterile plate and a sterile cutting knife to make this job a little faster. Um, we just prefer forceps and just a personal preference. You know, I always see comments on videos stating the person's technique is incorrect or they should have done something a little differently. Uh, you know, however, if it works for them, then why change it? After you're finished, uh, remove the forceps from the glass bead sterilizer, place the lid, and turn it off. You're all done. To ensure you don't have any leftover contaminants, just remember to wipe down your area so it's all nice and sterile for the next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video. For more information, please visit PlantCellTechnology.com. Thanks so much.